In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make biometric fingerprint scanning slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added a blue background with vertical and horizontal lines and I've added a thumbprint. And this is how the slide works. As you can see here, the fingerprint gets scanned and immediately it will give the profile ID of that person. And then you can add some detailed text and you can add some vital information here within the circle so let's see how to do this in powerpoint these are the prerequisites to make the slide you need powerpoint 2007 and above version you need a fingerprint image which i have downloaded from the internet in the png format and you need one real image or icon which you can download from the nonproject.com so let's start making this slide now add a new slide go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle covering the whole slide make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and under fill select pattern fill and select this option which is large grid and you can change the color to some dark colors something like this the foreground color let it be once this is done you copy this image which i have downloaded from the internet and paste it here go to format align center and say align middle here the color i'm just going to give some first a light gray color Press Ctrl D to duplicate the fingerprints and then go to format and give some different color say uh, give it blue and this also you make it align center and align middle then go to animations enable the animation pane add the animation which is wipe wipe the effect option start from top and go to the picture properties the timings you make it a medium and they say ok so it comes something like this then go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape something like this right mouse click go to format shape under format shape fill say gradient fill and give a different color here for example i'm going to keep only two stops delete the one stop the first stop i'm going to give this some white color and this also i'm going to give a white color both white then the transparency level i'm just going to make it 100% and select this and increase the brightness to 100% so this will scan something like this now select this and go to animations and add animation select a line which goes something like down and drag it till this part and this also you have to say with previous make it a somewhat smooth start and some bounds and timings let's keep it medium and see whether it is going with the same pace or not it should go the same pace so this is somewhat faster so i'm just going to make this one to delay to maybe 25 seconds let's see again i think this is okay it's going the same the scanning and this is happening at the same time if you see let me just play again all right so this is okay 
I'm going to add one more animation to this one. Go to add animations and say random bars. Can you see here the random bars? And this also you say with previous and double click. Go to the timings. We can make it fast and repeat. I will say three times and say OK. And if I play, you can see it is playing something like this. So instead of three, I'll just make it only two times. So if I play, yeah, and then this should disappear. For that, you have to add one more animation. Add animation and under exit, just say a fade. So that will go again. This also should happen with previous and you can just delay a little bit. Let's play again. So this is okay. If you see here, it's just going and it's vanishing. Now we have finished this animation. If you want, you can add one more like press Ctrl D to duplicate and you can add some different colors also, but I'm not going to do that one. So now once this is done, now once the scan happens, then it will give you some information and the image of the, you can say suspect or anybody so for that i'm going to insert shapes select one uh, sorry the oval shape and outline make it white or maybe orange shape fill say no fill and if you want you can increase the width of the the border and select this oval shape press ctrl d sorry and shape fill a uh, shape line say no line no line and shape fill as uh, say same color i'm going to reduce the size a little bit and place it exactly at the center select both of these option and press ctrl g to do, uh, to group it reduce the size make it very small and you can put it here if you want you can make it more smaller as well for this also we can give the animations go to animation and you can give the animation which is pulse can you see this pulse animation now if i double click this go to timings you can make it fast and repeat i'll say end of the slide and when I say OK, if you see here, it is keeps on repeating. For example, if I play, but this one should be again, I will say with previous, but with previous, it should be delayed a little bit because this should come only once you have scanned. So I'm just going to select this animation and I'm going to increase the delay. Maybe 2.25. Let's play. So first of all, I have to add one more animation to this one. So I'm going to add one more animation. Go to add animation, say appear. Appear, you make it up and then only it should come as a pulse. For this also, I'll just say with previous, but you need to increase the, the delay. So let's see how it works. If I play, so it is coming after that one so but i have to make it somewhat less maybe one second yeah so after immediately that one is coming so here also i'm just going to reduce the the same time it should pulse if i play again yeah it is coming here you can see it so now this is done i'm going to insert some text because once you scan it will give you some information for that, I'm going to use one uh, connector, which is elbow. Select this and add one line. 
we can give some good colors maybe aqua color i'm going to use and then i'm going to add some text into the the square brackets select one bracket make the same color and press ctrl d select this again sorry and rotate say flip horizontal and this is where I'm going to place the text here I'm going to insert a text box where I'm going to say equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets 1 it will give me some latin text and you can replace your own text there I'm going to give the white color reduce the size justify it the next one I'm just going to select this whole text without this one so I'm going to set the connector the brackets and the text and press ctrl G to duplicate so it becomes one particular of the, uh, the object so for now I'm going to give the animations go to the animations I'm going to give a uh, wipe effect wipe I will say start from left and this also should happen with previous should start with here so if I play now you can see immediately it's coming so for this also I'm going to give one more animation which is pulse animation so it will keep on blinking for this one timings you can make it fast repeat I will say enter end of the slide and just say ok and this also with previous now if you see here when I play it scans and then it starts giving you the image all right so this is done now now the next one i'm going to show you the image once you scan the image will come there to add the image first of all i'm going to make one a rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline give the same outline and shape fill you give the same dark color but you can increase its transparency go to the format shape and increase the transparency level something like this so I have increased the transparency of line so let it me make it 0% now I have copied this image copy and paste it here inside the box and select both of these objects and press ctrl G to duplicate it and bring it exactly at the top of the fingerprint and I'm going to give the animation for this I'm going to use the animation go to add animation go to more entrance effect and say basic zoom and select ok and this also you have to make it with previous but increase the time somewhat so that it should appear after the text now once it shows the image it should go and the top left corner it should be placed the uh, image there for that select this image once again go to add animation go below and say select motion path and this motion path instead of going down you bring it here and this also should happen with previous now if I play scans this comes and then the image goes there so the image should go very fast first of all remove this smooth start and smooth end timing instead of medium you make it fast or very fast so let's play here now 
so immediately it comes there it's better to make it fast sorry very fast and smooth, smooth start I'll just add somewhat so if I play again scans and then the image goes there likewise you can add more text here for example I'm just going to select this uh, the dot the yellow orange dot there press ctrl D to duplicate and place it one more here right and this text also you can copy there press ctrl D to duplicate sorry and move this here and this text the elbow connector should start from this and should go and joining this one all right but only thing is what you need to do is you have to just increase the the delay percentage here select both of this increase to somewhat and this also and this as well so if I play again it comes this one and then it comes this part so for this you can make the effect instead of uh, left you can just make it right also now if you see here we have almost done with that one then I have added one small a chart here which I have gone to the insert charts and I've selected the pie chart this chart I have selected just if you have the data select the data you can insert the data here and so I'm not going to do anything I'm just going to select this chart delete the unwanted text here I'm just going to format shape outline make it no outline and then reduce the size of the chart something like this and for this also I'm just going to select this but control D to duplicate one more time here and add one more connector which is going to the chart this chart will like uh, give some history kind of thing so I'm going to give the same color and here also this should happen for uh, sorry animation add animation just say wipe wipe from left and this also I'm going to give some animation I'm going to give the animation which is say first of all it should appear or you can make it zoom also and one more animation I'm going to add which is a spin animation kind of spinning so all these three things also it should go with previous all right and you have to increase the the delay percent if you see here it scans it comes this one and if you see these both are coming at the same time so I'm just going to select this one two three and four and increase the delay percentage to 2.5 if you see here it scans and then it comes like this even you can give the line to the photo also that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye